you were there to look at his house for rental purposes for your mother? Yeah. All right. How many rental houses do you have? 156. And where are they located? In what in city? In Little Rock, Arkansas. On what date did you fall through the porch? August the 15th, 2017. Do you have a photograph of the yes, porch? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to take a look at it. The, Do you have a photograph of uh, it? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. Did you fix the pole in the porch? Uh, yes, ma'am, I did. I want to see it before you fixed it. Yes, Your Honor. Can I? Good. Perfect. You want all the pictures or just the... Oh. Is this the hole that you have reference to? Yes, that's the yes. hole. I blew it up. Okay. Mr. Bora. Yes, Your Honor. The hole that existed on the porch... Yes, Your Honor. ...is on a wooden plank. It is. And that wooden plank looks very old. It is. And there's no question, she fell through this hole. An ambulance was called, the fire department was called to help get her out. Her foot went through. We agree with that. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Your defense is that she should have seen the hole. Because the hole was there before. She didn't make the hole. You knew the hole was there before. No, I didn't know that, ma'am. Oh. But you know now that the hole was there before. It was there. Ma'am, uh... The hole was there before. She didn't create the hole. No, she did not. And your answer says she should have walked up the other side where there was a railing. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Bora, do you have insurance? No, Your Honor. Well, that's a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> because if you have 156 houses and if you keep them in this kind of condition, but for court programs, you would soon have zero houses because they would take them all away from you. Are you not required to have insurance in case something happens in one of these houses? Uh, no, Your Honor. You know, insurance is optional. Mr. Bora, there is no liability Mr. Bora, insurance required. There is total liability on your part as the owner of this property. I'm telling you, there is total liability as the owner of this property when you invited people to come on the property to look at the property for the purpose of renting it. So they weren't trespassing. They were there on a legal, legitimate purpose. You are the owner of the property. The law presumes that you either know or should know the condition of your property. And you are responsible when your property, because of deteriorating condition, causes injury to somebody else. You're responsible. And for that, smart people usually have insurance. Dumb people don't have insurance. That's it. All she has to show me is that her leg was injured. You're totally responsible. <laughs> this happened on the 15th of August. Can I see the medical report from the 15th? Um, yes, ma'am. He got a medical bills. I mean, a record. Shh. I just... W <sighs> Medicaid paid for your medical bills. That's either a yes or a no. Yes, they did. Okay. Do you work, Miss Christopher? No, ma'am. So you had no lost earnings? No lost, no lost earnings. You don't work, so you had no, no lost earnings? Was, no, but it was close to my birthday, and what? I missed out on family trips and events. I I listen, and listen to me. All I asked you was, did you work? No, ma'am. Because loss of earnings form part of your damages. You don't work. I don't care if you missed your birthday party, as sad as, as, sad as that was. Now, Mr. Bora, if you want to be a slumlord, that's your prerogative. But I'm going to tell you, you are responsible for the condition of the home. You are. And the way you left the porch on this home is outrageous. You finally fixed it, but it was there for a long time. I'm going to tell you how I know it was there for a long time. Because the boards that were covering it looked like they had been put there 100 years ago. <laughs> And I don't know what the condition of your other residences are, but this one looks like a disaster. Are you still under medical treatment for your leg? Um, I still have problems with it, but and I'm the not under medical treatment. The answer is either yes no. No, or no. No, ma'am. And for how long, Miss Christopher, after you saw the doctor, how long did you remain in a situation where you couldn't get around? I had the cast on my leg for like three weeks. Was it a soft cast? Yeah. So, Mr. Bora, your negligence is responsible for that. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000. We're finished. Thank you.